this tree cutting limbs at a time and with all these limbs on the ground we moved them away so don't trip Bill and uh, what we're worried about uh, when we go where the V is there's a big piece of wood there so he'll take this part next and uh, cut down this other part but look what's up above there maybe that tree will hold it up and not come down with the tree we'll see and I hope it's not locked in up there <laughs> time ago there's a man that bought this property moved in all kinds of sheds and house from the train station and uh, he's got scattered all over and uh, there's stuff up that way he was a big husky man and he could move rocks and build things he's real strong uh, when he went hunting he could throw a deer over his shoulder bring it out of the woods and at one time he fenced in this 200 acres and it was a goat he ran goats in it and uh, I think at that time they had all the mountain lions killed out and then in past history they brought in a lot of mountain lions so uh, of course, that was after that guy died. I think it's going to try to go this way. Big trees yeah. On it, on it. yeah, when you when you do that, I'm going to get out of the way. Oh, you just watch that big old tree up there. I don't, yeah. don't want to fall on you. Yeah, because then they can. Limbs, they can break and flip around when you're trying to, because, you know, they're pretty old and dead. But anyway, that guy did lots of work around here. So Bill is getting ready. Saw, I'm um, going we'll to get out of the way. So it's hung up. And, uh. Bill's going to get a strap and bounce it a little bit and see if he'll pull. He made him a pathway to run. See what happens. Oh. Run too. You're doing a little good there. We'll get back. Oh, yeah. Some of you might have heard me talk about the mountains, the trees are dying, and this is a good example. We've been having drought. For over 30 years and uh, that hurts the trees but bugs get in them kill them um, then they get this moss on them so a hundred years from now all this mountain range might look all different everything be dead but the mount uh, the forest 
service it used to let you come get all this type of wood here clean it out and uh, they quit doing it you gotta pay for it now no it's like thirty dollars used to be like ten dollars truck load and then they send you to a place that's all cleared out you give them your thirty dollars and then you go there and there's no wood to be had but if a fire comes through here because it's so dry it would wipe out all this uh, wood all through here is like that scattered dead stuff uh, the forest service knows what they're doing <laughs> oh yeah and they do like burn programs and burn your house down everything else and they do burn on windy days just tighten this chainsaw up so we just got a little bit more to clean up and we stopped and had lunch get our, our strength going on and uh, feel better and get this packed up and get on home so that's what we're getting ready to do, clean it up. Bill's going to back up the truck so we don't have to walk back and forth so much. And we do got a lot of limbs to pick up. They're real great for kindling and the, the back uh, porch wood heater. This might be the burn tree several years ago uh, because of people that own this they don't always stay here it's the second place so the neighbors up the road they seen smoke lightning hit a tree and uh, so they come down here because nobody was home and uh, put the fire out on the tree and that might be the one they did I know they had a, a son that could climb up the tree and put water on it so that's possible because I don't know where that tree ever was. I never did. That's it. You, that is it. And uh, so now it's just rotten and falling over. Yeah, he supposed to climb it and get the. I can see some burn it that way. No uh, water on it. They went to the people's house. I guess they carried buckets of water. I don't. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I don't think water hose reaches yeah. far. Just carry buckets of water. Yeah. Climb up that tree and put it up. Yeah. But it they they saved this place from getting burned up. This is dry, real dry country up here. So all these dead trees. Yeah, they saved this place. Probably their place too. Not let the yeah. woods get caught in fire. But anyway, that's the story on that tree. Okay. We're all packed up and getting ready to go home. So it's going to feel good to sit down and talk to you later at the house. Well, this is the next day we go home with the wood and Bill's separating what well, he needs to cut up for the that porch wood heat, heater. And, uh, and then he's going to drop some on back he can saw up and then take some out and uh, let the donkeys eat the bark off of it so we're happy to get another load and uh, so we had the gas man come by yesterday he filled up our tank and we 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 did have um, you know through the summer didn't use that much but it still cost us four hundred dollars <laughs> Uh, thank you, Biden. <laughs> and uh, so when Trump was running the show, it was $300 to fill up. Now it's 600 through the winter. It, it depends if we can get them out here before it gets too low. And they don't want to come out until uh, it gets really low. And that's a big price to pay uh, on the fuel. That's why we like getting wood and we know there's going to be a time when they sell that place up there and we won't be able to get wood 
and we do try to get our house prepared for a day like that when we don't chop wood no more so we're really uh, you know have to put some thoughts in that this is our uh, pop can heater Bill made two of them and uh, so when we made this first one our thermometer it was plastic melted at um, 265 yeah degrees so these put out some good warm air both of them and of course I gotta talk about the sunroom now the sunroom does a little better and then the greenhouse but they're pretty close on temperature and we like that getting that greenhouse out there uh, warm like this this building so under the floor we got pipe running uh, all through the f floor and then it runs up to the house and to the hot water heater so the hot water heater it already has warm water and that that way it don't always come on all the time so that saves us gas I turned on the vent uh, we have a switch in there Bill done some duct work and it, there's a fan up there that can uh, blow into the house through the duct work and that metal piece is set for uh, 80 degrees so that can come on pretty early so that's really helping to blow this hot air from the sunroom in the house and plus uh, we got this window open uh, this room back here used to always be cold and now we open up that uh, window and with the vent and the window open it kind of goes down the house and you know back out so it's got good air current coming through there just recycle itself so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye